line. But first, Fox 13's Max Roth has protesters from both sides facing acro off across the St. George campus. Max. Yeah, Bob and Kelly, you know, our crew went to the campus because we knew that there was a prominent group who's opposed to the name change that had planned a protest. But at the scene, there were two protests across the lawn at Holland Centennial Commons. It almost looks like an old battle scene. A small ragtag crew assembled across a wide field looking at the uniformed opposition with flags flying. But walk across and see the uniforms are coordinated t-shirts. The message, less battle cry than plea for the past. I may be allowed to meet the men and women of our immortal pioneers of this great Utah Dixie. That's SkyWest Airlines founder, Ralph Atkin. When they asked me the question, what have you done with our name? I hope I could tell them that we protected and honored it to the best interest of all concerned. Also speaking, former Dixie president Douglas Alder. What did Dixie mean? Cotton, South, hot. <laughs> Back across the field, students worried their future will be compromised by a name. Dixie is something that doesn't mean the same thing as the rest of the world, and people here need to recognize that. We just want the opportunity to attend a university that we love and then be able to get jobs that we love after. Being on campus right now, I'm very intimidated by seeing those people because I am a student here, also from out of state, and all of these people are the people I see every day. So it is one word both sides see as much more than a word. But it depends who and where they are as to what they see. A legacy of hard work or of hate, of pride or of prejudice, of the past or the future. Well, tough questions in a small city in southern Utah.